Hi students, welcome back. In the previous video, I explained about the fixed point, uh, arithmetic pipeline organization for the floating point addition and subtraction. So, uh, before going to understand the floating uh, fixed point uh, multiplication, that is arithmetic pipeline for the fixed point multiplication, I want to give a clarity on carry propagation adder and the carry save adder. Because these two type of circuits that we are going to use in the multiplication. If you want, you can be also used for the addition also. Okay. So generally for high speed, if you want to generate the high speed addition. So because the pipeline organization itself requires a high speed, uh, high speed additions or subtractions. So whatever it may be, everything should be the high speed we require. Okay. So. For high speed addition, we generally requires two types of adders, two types of adders in arithmetic pipeline, arithmetic pipeline. Okay, so the high speed addition requires two types of adders in the arithmetic pipeline. So generally, these two will be are going to use CPA and CSA. These are the two adders that you are going to install in the arithmetic pipeline. Why we are installing the carry propagation adder and the carry save adder? Because to generate a high speed additions, we require these two circuits. Okay, so now let me explain you how these circuits are represented, how the operation is going to be performed in, in these circuits. So, first let's consider them carry propagation adder. Okay, carry propagation adder. That means CPA, we usually call it as a CPA. Okay, so what is the use of this adder? What it is doing? So, it is going to, it adds two numbers. And produce an arithmetic sum. See how simple it is. So what is the operation it is doing? So it is simply adding two numbers. The carry propagation adder is going to add two numbers. Two binary numbers. Okay. That is going to add two binary numbers. And it is producing an arithmetic sum. So how it is going to add. And how the circuit is look like. Let's have a look at it. Okay. So first let me draw the circuit. Uh, this is how it is represented. Okay. So let's take uh, here. This is A input. And this is the B input. Okay. Let's take N numbers. Whatever the binary numbers you are taking. That is N numbers. So if it, you are taking a 3 bit binary number. Write 3. If it is a 4 bit. Write 4. 16 bit. 16. Like that. Okay, carry propagation adder. So, when these two A and B are going to perform addition, okay. So, let's take A value is 1011 1, 1, and the B value is 0111. 1, 1. So, if you perform the addition, that means A plus B, let's take S. Okay, so the S should be of N numbers. So, if you are adding 8 bit binary numbers you will get only the 8 bit as a result if any carry is there let's take it as a c out if carry is occur just take it as a c out carry propagation adder is taking here a is what how many bits so here a is 4 bits okay and here b is 4 bits and what will be the result if you add a plus b 1 1 1 0 okay 1 1 1 0 1, 1, 1, 0. So, you, sorry, sorry. This is, okay, triple 1. 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1 and 1, 3, 1s. Whenever the 3, 1s are there, you will get 1, 1. Okay. Simple addition. 1, 0 means you will get 1 only. Okay. So, 1, 1 means you will get 1, 0. So, triple 1s. Whenever the triple 1s are there, the addition is you will get 1, 1. Okay. Now, 1, 1. 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. So, 1 is a carry. So, just see out it. So, what will be the result? 0, 0, 1, 0 is the result. Which is of how many bits? 4 bits. So, whenever the carry propagation adder, it takes A as N bits and B as N bits and performing addition. And the result is also the N bits. If the any carry is there, that will be stored in the C out. 
So now here the S value is 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is an N bit CPA. N bit carry propagation adder. So what exactly it is doing? It add two numbers such that car is generated whenever the car is generated in successive digits or propagated. So this is about n bit CP. So I hope you understand how it is going to be performed. So just taking A as input and B as input and performing addition or subtraction whatever it may be. So the result will be stored in S. If any carry is there that will be stored in C out. Now let's see about the CSA. The carry save adder. What is going to be true? Carry save adder. So the carry save adder. Let me draw, draw the diagram. So the carry save adder is look like it's a, here it is taking three input instead of two inputs the carry propagation adder only takes two inputs but carry save adder it's going to take three inputs x y and z so x can take n bits and y can take n bits and z can take n bits so carry save adder. So, whenever the addition or subtraction is performed on these three digits, uh, three uh, inputs x, y, z. Okay, let's take n is equal to 6 bits. Okay, let's take n is 6 bits. 6 bits. Okay, that means x is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And the y is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the z is equal to 1, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1. Now I am going to perform the addition. Okay. So whenever I am performing the addition, the result will be stored in, let's take SB. So the result will be stored in SB. So when you are performing the addition on three inputs, so whatever the size of N bits, the result will be N plus 1 bits. So the SB is storing N plus 1 bits. That is the bitwise sum. You have to perform bitwise sum and you will get the carry is all it's also n plus 1 this is a carry vector you usually call it as a carry vector so the carry vector is also n plus 1 so the inputs you are giving as n and the output is going to generate a n plus 1 so now let's see how it is going to be performed okay so whenever i am performing here so this is a carry right try to write the carry here so, 1, 1, 1, whenever you are performing addition on 3 once, okay, what you will get? You will get 1, 1 only. 1 is here and write the carry here. So, starting it is a 0 bit. Let us take the carry starting it is a 0. Okay, so next perform 1 plus 0 plus 0. So, you will get 1, 0. Okay, so 1 here and 0 is right here. Carry has to write here. 1, 1. 1, 1 means 1, 0. Okay. So, carry is here and the value is here. Okay. So, 1, 1 means again 1, 0. 1, 0. So, 1, 0 means carry here and the value is here. Again 1, 1. 1, 1 means 1, 0. Carry is here. Write 0 here. And you will get 0 plus 0 plus 1. You will get what you get. Okay. So, you will get 1, 0. 1, 0. Okay. And finally, write it as 0. Because I want n plus 1 bits. Because here, n plus 1 bits you want. So, he, up to here, a 6 bits is there. You have to add one more 0 here. In the same way here, 6 bits is there. You have to add one more bit 0. You have to add one more bit 0. So, the carries are storing here. So, whenever you are performing, simple, when you are performing the additions, so try to write the carry here. So, SB and the carry value. So, after that, what you have to perform? So, here again perform the addition. SB plus C. SB plus C. So, here N inputs are given, N plus 1 outputs you got. So, perform the again the addition. When you are performing the addition, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. 
one zero. Okay, and here one, and here one 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 zero one. So this is what you'll get. This is S B S B plus C. So that means this is nothing but X plus Y plus Z. X plus Y plus Z. So what here it's doing? The carry save adder adds. Let me write that point. What I have performed here, the carry save add adder adds how many numbers? Three numbers such that such that carries carriers generated or not propagated. Or not propagated, rather, these are saved in carry vector. Carry vector. Okay. So when you're performing the addition x plus y plus z, the result is s power b plus c. There's a carry save adder. So this is how the circuit is performing the operation. So this circuit is going to add three. Take two inputs, okay. So uh, three, sorry, it takes the three inputs and performs the addition operation. And you finally you you want to get only one result, right? If you perform the addition, you have to get one result. So after performing the additions, the three input additions, the carry will be stored in carry vector, and the bitwise sum will be stored in SB. So after that, you have to do the addition. On carry and the bitwise sum, so then you will get the final result x plus y plus z. So x plus y plus z is equal to uh, bitwise sum plus carry vector. So this is how this circuit is performing the operation. So these two circuits are going to used in arithmetic pipeline. So for high speed additions, so to generate the high speed additions, we are using this in arithmetic pipeline. So this will be using in arithmetic uh, pipeline organization for fixed point multiplication operation. So that we will see in the next video. Thank you.